Oh boy, it's Dan. Welcome back to another Premier League. As you can tell, two well, new addition to the thing. Go with Sam Tan's table again. I don't even see it. That's where I read it from. And today we have game week number 25. Or 20. I think it's game week, it's game week number 25. Two more guests on this week. One of them is not going to show his face. But he's going to ask you, how do you think the video? He doesn't mean. Thing like like he's he's basically in the door but bended. So we need to go back and before we get into it any further, into the video, smash that like and subscribe and let's get into game week number twenty five of the Premier League. Our first game is West Ham versus Newcastle United. Now Newcastle United. <laughs> Have well, without Kieran Trippier because he fractures his foot against Le against Aston Villa, which again they won as well. And West Ham, high flying, high flying, drew two two against Leicester on on the weekend to keep their top four hopes um, alive. But I am gonna say that it will be West Ham United one. Newcastle won a 1-1 one, one draw in this game and the guests, let's go. Hello, my name is DG Plays on YouTube. My name is Daniel and today I'll be doing the Premier League predictions with Daniel. Dan, you know, 2 3 one no, or 2 3 zero, one, I think it is. Uh, today, I will be doing West Ham versus Newcastle United, the first game. I think the score, I think West Ham are playing very well at the minute. So it's Newcastle United. Newcastle United has a new signing, Kieran Trippier, been scoring flat out. I think it's going to be 2 1 West Ham. Thank you, both of you. Now we move to Arsenal versus Brentford. Hmm. Arsenal versus Brentford. This could be an absolute back ding to know about it. Arsenal haven't played, got had a week off last week because they were some in. They had a week off. Oh, I don't know because of Chelsea. Yeah. We're in the club World Cup. We'll get them um, to Chelsea later. And Brentford, they don't right. Ericsson might. We, we don't know if Ericsson will be playing or not. But I'm going to still say Arsenal, shouldn't we? Oh, it's better. It's better. I'm going to go to ten after winning. I'm going to two zero win to Arsenal and guests. Off you both go. Now on to the next game, Arsenal, who are in sixth place, I believe, fourth place, sixth place. They're behind Manchester United versus fourteenth place, Brentford. I think the score is going to be Arsenal. Three Brentford two. Right, thank you, thank you guys. Now move to Aston Villa versus Watford. Now this is the game that Josh is going to, but Watford haven't have not yet scored a goal under Roy Hodgson since he's been in managerial charge of Watford. However, Aston Villa are looking impeccable. Philippe Coutinho is looking amazing. He's looking fantastic. He's Coutinho. Coutinho. Fantastic player. And Villa and Watford. Oh, I'm gonna say Watford need to win, but it'll be it'll be it'll be a two nil win. It'll be a two it'll be a two nil win. Two The Carrot and Blue team of Aston Villa. And the, and the guests, off you both go. And now on to the next game, Steven Gerrard's Aston Villa against Watford. I think now Watford is the their manager. Again, it was Ranieri. I think he was playing very good with Watford. But I think the score will be 2-1 Villa. Thank you guys, now move to Brighton and the Hive Albion. Versus Burnley. Decent form. Brighton, okay. 
I'm gonna th this could be a boring score. Not, not draw. Hmm. No, no, draw and both you go. Off you hop. Now on to the next game, Brighton Hull Albion versus Burnley. Burnley drew during the week against Manchester United. 1-1. One, one. I think Brighton getting off to a good start of the season. And then they started dropping. I'm going to go with an NL draw. Thank you guys. Now move to Crystal Palace versus the Club World Cup champions in Chelsea. Congratulations to Chelsea against Palmers. They played amazing against Palmers. Chelsea are just amazing. Chelsea just on another level. And they've had weeks for Palace. You know what? I'll say really a Chelsea win of 2 0 to Chelsea. I'm adding 2 1, but it'll be, it'll be 2 0 Chelsea. And, and both the guests, off you both go. And I'm going to tip Crystal Palace against Chelsea. Obviously, Chelsea's champions of the world. Massive congratulations to Chelsea. I think Chelsea will win this one comfortably. But they did have a game during the week, so I'm going to go 2-1 two, two, Chelsea. Yes, and now we move to Liverpool. Well, excuse me, is there much? Is there much? Can say to his 4 0 for Liverpool? Let's move on as quick as you can, guests. Go get 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 them going very fast. Now on to Liverpool versus Norwich, and now I think Liverpool are going to win this one. I think I'm going to go four 0 Liverpool. Now you move to Southampton versus. Everton. Oh, don't know what to say for these two teams, but Southampton are the draw specialists, and Everton also the draw specialists. What I'm gonna say, one one. I'm going I'm, I want to agree here, yeah? one one. And boys, are you going for a clean new draws or not? Obviously, I know I want them both here, but you don't know. But we're gonna go for clean sweep or not? Now we move. Southampton versus Everton. I think Southampton, they did well against Manchester United as well. They got a draw 1-1 one, one there, so I think it's going to be 1-1 one, one draw. Move to the biggest game of the game week. Chel no. Man City versus Tottenham Hotspur. <sighs> Pep Guardiola versus Antonio Conte. This could go anywhere here. This could honestly go Chelsea. This could go City or Spurs. I'm going to go with City. Like two goals to nil. Hmm. Sorry if you can hear the sorry, sorry if you, if you, if you can hear the box, and I apologise for that. And the guests, off you both go. Hmm. City against Tottenham. That is going to be a tough one now. I think it's going to be a nil nil draw. Or else one nil win the City. And move to Leeds United versus Manchester United. As time of filming, Manchester United last night won a game. And we didn't concede after we scored a goal. Ronaldo and Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo and Bruno in an order. Come on the ball. Let's go lads, let's go lads. Can we get a jump down against Leeds and not concede a goal before the game against Watford next weekend? But Leeds, Leeds are all right actually, Leeds are actually decent. But we'll still have enough for the mighty Leeds of two goals to nil. To Man United. And dear guests, I think one of them is a Man U fan and the other one's a Wickham fan or something like a Wimbledon fan. Well, yeah, go on boys, pop. Leeds versus Manchester United is the biggest rev the big rivalry in the Premier League. I think Man United are in a bad run at the minute, but I think United will win this one 2-0. I mean, thank you, but I'm now to the last game of the game week, which is Wolves versus Leicester. 
Rafa Fiddy, decent. Wolves are also good as well. But I honestly believe that Leicester will have enough here to scrape a draw. Because Wolves are in the top four ways. Honestly, Wolves are in the top four. I'm going to go 1-1 draw. I'm going to go 1-1 draw. And for the final time, boys, I'm going to go 1-1 draw. Because 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 I'm going to go 1-1 draw. Wolves against Leicester, I think Leicester might win this one. I'm going to go with a draw because Wolves are in good form at the minute, so I'm going to go no. no. Thank you for having me on, mate. Catch you in a bit and keep safe. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. That will bring this video to an end. Thank you all very much for watching. I had another thing. Next week, we're back to the regular one guest. If you want to be on, just comment. We can we totally guess can't move just because he's he had his he's had his, he's had his allotted amount of game. You can have three predictions per season to make it fair. So Josh, no more for you. But anybody else wants a second shot, feel free to comment down below and I'll see you all in the next Premier League prediction video. Until then have a good week and peace out.